Hello wonderful people, it's Wild here. Today I'll be showing you how to build a fancy flower fairy tower complete with a magical flower turret roof. This fabulous build would be a great addition to any fantasy world and would even make a great chunk house as it is spacious yet sits on a small footprint. The materials you'll need for this build will be on your screen now. It's wise to grab a few extra of each material so keep that in mind while gathering. And if you need any suggestions for substitutions if you can't find a block, be sure to comment down below. Here is the outline for today's build. You can see it is a small circle with an interior diameter of 5 blocks. This build has a small footprint but since it is a nice tall tower, you'll have plenty of space. Begin by filling in the bottom layer of the floor for your tower. You can use any block you like here, but I like using polished andesite as it looks like tiles. Then we'll switch over to some stone bricks and you want to build up three high all the way around the outline. Making sure you're leaving a one block gap at the front for the door. And here you can place in a birch door and a block of amethyst. Then switch back to your stone bricks and create a pattern like this, skipping every other block. Now we'll work on the base structure of the height of the tower. Once you've got that in, we'll go in with some decorations around the windows as well as the flowers and leaves. But for now you can see I'm building too high with smooth sandstone. Then I'm placing in windows on each of the flat faces, too high with white stained glass and an amethyst block on top. Now you can use glass panes if you'd like here to save on materials, but I like the look of glass blocks. Then you want to build up with the sandstone filling in the rest of the walls. And for our next day layer, we'll start by building five high, one, two, three, four, five, on top of each of these amethyst blocks. We'll be tapering in the shape of the tower as we go up. So to do this, we'll create corners like this, two high. And then for the additional three high, to meet the top of this five, we'll leave out the very corner block. Here's how the shape is looking from above. For the next layer, create a square leaving off the corners by building three across these gaps. Just do this one high and then we'll start adding in some windows. Building too high with an amethyst, then a gap. Too high with the amethyst and a gap. And create this pattern on the back as well. Then you can fill in the rest of the walls with sandstone up to the same height. Here's how the tower should look so far. Now I've got some sandstone and smooth sandstone blocks, stairs and slabs and we'll be creating some castle like battlements on the top of this. So on each of the flat sides, place in an upside down stair with a block on top and two stairs either side and you want to randomize these textures as you go. Then fill in the gap with a connecting block. And then fill in behind the wall with some more sandstone. Before we add the next layer to the battlements, we'll add a floor. 
starting with smooth sandstone going on each of these blocks here. You can see I'm skipping every other block and then fill in the rest of the space with some birch planks. Now change back to some stairs and place them all around like this. Notice how I'm angling these ones on the corners to face the direction of the flat faces. Now to create the crenellations, place sandstone blocks on each of these blocks. And then sticking out over the corner. Then fill in the gaps with some sandstone and smooth sandstone slabs. And place a slab on top of each block. Here's how it looks. For the top section of the tower, fill in the floor here with some more birch planks. And then build up two high in a 3x3 three three square centered on the platform. Make sure you leave a little gap here for the door and we can put that in as well as an amethyst block above it. We'll also add in three high windows at the front and the back with an amethyst block above them and fill in the walls. Have a one block gap and then we'll add windows on each of the sides, just one high this time. Finally, for the base of the walls, build up a one high circle out of the smooth sandstone, come forward with a block on each side and then place a smooth sandstone stair upside down either side of this. Now it's time to add in some decorations. We'll start with some window decorations. So on all of the two and three high windows up the tower, create a decoration with three slabs across the bottom and a slab in front of the amethyst block. Stairs either side, an amethyst cluster and then connect the top to the bottom with some brick stone brick walls. On the small one high windows at the very top, create something similar, except this time, instead of using an amethyst cluster, use a medium and amethyst bud, as this won't block out the whole window. Also use the medium amethyst bud to create a door decoration in the same style and you can use this at the top of the tower as well as at the entryway. See how I'm placing the medium amethyst bud above the doorway like this.
The next important detail are some flowers growing up the sides of the tower. And here I'm using pink terracotta and wool, white wool, bl light blue terracotta and wool, and then yellow terracotta, concrete and wool for the centers of the flowers, as well as the occasional bell. Now we'll need to break a few blocks as we go along to create these flowers. And the first one we'll start with is a pink, um, pink wool flower. Next we'll create one with terracotta here on the corner. And using bells is a great way to create the center of the flower on an angle like this. Now we'll have a white flower. with a yellow terracotta center and a light blue one with a yellow wool center. You can see we're distributing the color as we go along. Next, another pink one with a yellow concrete center this time. And rotating round to the left, we'll have a light blue wool flower. You can see I'm mixing up the distribution of the yellow concrete terracotta and wool as I go. Got a white one diagonally down over here and another pink terracotta flower. Rotating round to the back, place a light blue terracotta flower here and a pink wool flower down here. And just one more flower on this section of the tower right at the top and count three blocks down, one, two, three, and place in a pink terracotta flower. Now we'll add some flowers to the top here and of course you can customize the colors of these flowers to suit your design style. Got a blue one on the corner here using a bell. Coming around to this side and placing in a pink flower. And then finally a white flower at the top. Now to make it look as if these really are giant flowers growing up the side of the tower, grab some azalea leaves and weave them in and between each of your flowers, starting with a bush at the bottom. Now there's no set way to do this, it's just about taking your time and taking a step back every now and then to make sure you like how it's coming along, and you can always change things as you go. You can see I'm creating the look of a vine growing and I'm creating the occasional leaf growing out from behind a flower. Now of course you can substitute these leaves if you don't have azalea leaves for birch but I really like the vibrancy that azalea leaves provide here. And don't forget to add some leaves to the flowers at the very top of the build. The flower tower is coming along really nicely, but to top it all off, let's add a giant flower turret roof to the top. Begin with some pink wool and come out one diagonally from these stairs here. We're creating a panel which will connect each of these sides. Then come down one on the diagonal 
and place a pink concrete block here and back on the diagonal. Two pink wool either side of this and a pink wool on top. Now replicate this shape on the remaining three sides. Here's how it should look so far. To fill in the corners, we use a slightly darker shade of pink to add definition to the petals, starting by building two down with some pink concrete and placing a pink wool. Then place in a pink terracotta here and fill in the corner gap here and create this petal shape on the other three sides. Before we add the green top to the flower, go, make sure you go inside the build and place in a pink terracotta filling in these four holes. That way when you look from underneath, there aren't any gaps. For the top, we'll use a mixture of lime concrete and lime wool and randomize the texture of these as we go. First, we'll start by creating a little upside down T-shaped panel like this on each of the sides. and then fill in each corner. Then we'll fill in building one up like this. One more on top. And then finally build two up and create a curved hook to one side. So you can see I've placed this build in a beautiful landscape with some giant flowers. These giant flowers really add to the fairy atmosphere and a peaceful stream and patches of lush grass really complement the bright build. If you'd like to see a tutorial for these flowers, comment down below and check out the Cavecraft series to see how you can transform this tower into a flower castle. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please consider subscribing and check out my Patreon to support me further. See you in another video.